To be a model, you're either born pretty or you're ugly enough that people are interested in looking at you. And I'm the latter. Hey, don't look at my skirt, creep. I was scouted a while back. Seriously, I was in the Boy Scouts for like three years. Ugh, come on. Then when I was in high school, I joined Model UN because I thought it was a club for pretty people. Turns out everyone there were total uggos. Models also have to be a size zero. Not me though, because I have a doctor's note. As a model, you have to have the perfect walk. Anyone can do it, trust me. I didn't start walking until I was eight, and now I'm walking fashion shows in Budapest. Seriously, I'm getting hungry. My personal trainer says I need to stop eating so much. But what does he know? He's divorced. I can practically taste your envy through the screen. Jealousy's a sin, sweaty. I'll see you in hell. Oh, hi. My name is Caroline, and for my admissions essay, I'm going to tell all of you at Harvard why I would make an amazing doctor. Being a doctor runs in the family. Stop checking me out, creep. I'm not a cashier. My mom was a nurse and got promoted to a doctor, but I want to do it the right way. Caroline, wrong way. Oh. I can pay full price tuition, so you're actually saving money by not giving me scholarships. A good doctor knows medical facts at the drop of a hat. And I have a photographic memory, except the camera's Android quality. Doctors need to have hygiene, and I have so many pairs. Doctors also need to know how to read x-rays. Don't worry, I already can. My x-ray was a total scrub. I'm also comfortable using medical jargon in my everyday language. How do I look? Um, honestly, you look fashion dyslexic. That's why you should vote for me, Caroline Ricky, future medical doctor, class of 2025. Yeah, my vote. Hey, how'd you get in my backyard, creep? If you weren't born into wealth like me, it's essential to do the next best thing, marry rich. Hey, what are you looking at? You're probably thinking, Caroline, just get a job. Well, I tried to apply to med school, but it turns out I'm allergic to MCATs. It's important to know that rich guys go for girls of class. That's why I scheduled 20 credit hours a semester. Hey, pervert! Okay, so remember, it's what's on the inside that counts. Like how much is in your bank account? Sugar daddies are dangerous because an excess amount can lead to type 2 diabetes. Always be yourself, unless you're a theater kid. Never sign a prenup. The only thing you should be signing is up for Pilates twice a week. <laughs> and most importantly, marry someone you trust. Fun. I don't know, just don't be ugly. It's not that hard. Jesus once said that the only way to cover up a bad personality is with a good outfit. So here's how I choose mine. Let's go. So this is my closet. You'll notice that none of my clothes is fast fashion because I wouldn't want it to run away. Why did you do that? Sorry. That's kind of weird. Titty shot. I just don't own ugly clothes so I could never wear a bad outfit. I actually wear make down instead of makeup or else I'd look too good and that would just be unfair for everyone else. So, can you make sure you get my roots? You're a human, not a plant. Always remember to accessorize, but never be an accessory, especially to murder. I've never been really like good at walking in here. As one of the most famous content creators on this platform, I get this question a lot. I've actually had the verification application in my inbox for weeks. I just don't feel like filling it out. I know the second I get a blue check mark, people are gonna say that I'm overrated. Are you calling me fat? Stop, it's abstract. Or they're gonna say that I've changed. Well, duh, I'm not gonna wear dirty clothes all day. That's disgusting. Besides, why would I need a blue check when I could have a big white one instead? Okay, so. I don't need a blue check to feel good about myself. The only validation I need is for parking. I could name so many better checks than a blue one. For example, checks and balances, and I'm not even a gymnast. Or even the Czech Republic, my favorite weekend getaway. How about a check mark? Seriously, Mark's the funniest guy I know. I don't need a blue badge. I'm not a cop. Get off the grass! <laughs> Caroline, get down from there. As a liberal, I believe everyone deserves a right to universal hair care. Why should someone have to go bankrupt over salon bills? So I love hairdressing. The Italian flavor is perfect on my morning salad. Okay, so like an onion, my hair has layers and it makes people cry of envy. At any salon, it's important to gossip with a hairdresser. My hair's so big because it's full of secrets. Uh, no, it's full of grease. Fine with me, grease is my favorite movie. Fun fact, people in other countries around the world actually wash their hair. Why is your hair so flat? 
I mean, it used to have waves, but it attracted too many like surfer boys. Always remember to do your part. I don't even know what this is. I thought a curling iron was for working out. Beauty is a labor of love, and you need to work overtime. I don't know, just don't hate yourself. It's not that hard. I like my men like I like my chocolate. Rich. Because of my status, I need to do background checks on all of my potential dates. Ugh, I hate this background. Guys are always intimidated by me. It's probably because I'm 6'2". Hey, come here, Don. She's 5'6 for reference. Okay, two. I'm not worrying about you. Okay, okay, so get, get out. Seriously though, dating is practically impossible. For me, like, I would manifest a guy, but that never works. Like, my manifestation journal is just a planner, and I never get anything done. Whoa. Besides, anytime I'm interested in a guy, I always get friend zoned. And I don't even know what time zone that's in. My therapist already diagnosed me with SOS, self-obsession syndrome. So maybe the only person I'm capable of loving is myself. Today, I'm going grocery shopping for the first time. I made sure to bring my reusable bags. I'm pretty sure Costco is a chain store and the chain better be 24 karat gold. I like to pay full price because that means I get the full experience. I love running errands. He's such a fast runner. Okay, so. Hey Don. Caroline, don't forget your bloating cream. Ugh, as if I don't need that. Second. I have IRL, intense retail love. I just can't help myself. I want everything. The cashier asked if he could check me out. At least he's a gentleman for asking first. Do you guys take checks? Do you guys take checks? Yeah. Oh, you take checks? <laughs> so after I didn't get invited to my roommate's birthday party and I tried to move out but my flight got canceled, I read all of your supportive comments and decided that it's time for me to ditch my roommates for good. So I packed up all of my stuff. Close. I want it close. Oh. Bye everyone. I'm gonna miss you all. Bye Caroline. I'm not gonna miss you. Are you hugging me? Yeah, I'm I'll see you never. And I drove cross country by myself to my new house. I wanna thank everyone for all the money you sent me and it's because of you guys that I'm able to buy this house as my first starter home. Hey guys, what are you doing uh, here? Caroline, we got evicted. Can we crash at your place? Yeah. Can we move in? No. no. Hey guys, a lot of you requested a bedroom tour, so if you're a pervert, keep scrolling. Let's go. This is where my friend Sarah sleeps. She is a vegan, so I make her sleep on minks. And here's our gorgantious bathroom. Obviously our tub is so big that we have our own personal lifeguard. Hey, don't cat call me. And this is my closet. A lot of people think it's a department store because it has a Hey, get out of the thing. Sorry. Hey, don't run me. Don't tell me what to do. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Excuse me, room service. So this is my fireplace. Um, I actually am out of firewood right now, so I just use my money. And this is my balcony. Look at that view. I'm not talking about me, silly. <laughs> okay, so. People tell me that I have a superiority complex. Well, I've had enough. Come on, open, come on. What many people don't know is that I'm actually a really good person. Like I do my court mandated community service. Oh wow, a hundred dollars. Give clothes to charity. Wow, I really get the keepsies? Yeah. Thanks. And give my staff health benefits. So I've decided to do even more. My house staff and I are giving away Chipotle to five different friend groups or families. Check out the house nobody asked for linked in the caption to enter. And if you enter, please don't leave without excusing yourself. That's just rude. Bye. Bye. So if you're like me and rely on your chef to cook for you, then I think you might want to enter this giveaway. So, eat the rich? No, eat Chipotle. Like lice, a million followers can really go to someone's head. I didn't start TikTok because I wanted money, power, or fame. Like I've already had those things. I started because I wanted to make change. That's the reason I worked as a cashier last summer. Okay, so. But life isn't even easy for a celebrity. Like every time I go outside, I get swarmed. And that's probably because we have a beehive outside. And in the past few days, I've gotten calls from like the Ellen Show, Jimmy Fallon, and my parole officer, but I just choose to ignore it. It's time for me to give back. 
I'm gonna donate $10,000 to my most loyal follower, the person that's been there since the very beginning and helped shape me into the person that I am today. Me, of course. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and you probably just need glasses. Here, take mine. I actually use conceal him and not conceal her because that's sexist and implies that women should be suppressed. Now I'm going to apply eyeshadow and hopefully my application is good enough because it has a 20% acceptance rate. Instead of wearing blush, I just have my friends compliment me. Caroline, you're so pretty. Again. Caroline, you're so pretty. Again. Caroline, you're so pretty. I never wear makeup that was tested on animals. Like, how are they supposed to pass if they can't even read? I actually went to cosmetology school on accident. Like, when I signed up, I thought it was a class on outer space. And and the last thing I do is add my favorite setting spray. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> most therapists are rude, nosy, and totally not fetch. That's why I use retail therapy to solve all of my life problems. Let's go shopping, dude. So I don't actually need new clothes. I just don't feel like washing my dirty ones. I ordered a driver in the mail, and instead, a golf club came to my house. Now I have to be my own chauffeur. Being fashionable is just in my jeans. Get it? Cause like. Are you okay? They should prosecute chefs that have committed crimes in a food court. I actually took a gap year. Like, I literally worked at Gap for a year. I'm never working a blue-collar job again. Mom, get out of my room! They actually used my body as a blueprint for all mannequins. Don't look, pervert. Now I'm gonna do a quick clothing haul. Let me know which is your favorite. Okay, so... You're right, but I didn't only inherit money from my parents, I also got my mom's genetic liver condition. I may have been given my wealth, but it's also my job to give back. Not only do I have to do my court mandated community service, but I'm also working with my plastic surgeon on a recycling initiative. All plastic water bottles will now be injected into the face rather than left to pollute the ocean. Speaking of the earth, can we please do something about climate change? I prefer dollar bills, duh. Most rich people are straight up meanies. Not me though, I let my maid sleep in my closet. Hey, get cleaning. I'm not just some trust fund dits. I can recall any fashion trivia question in seconds. What did Britney Spears wear to the 2001 VMAs? Basically nothing, and critics shamed her for it, but she paved the way for modern feminism. All these billionaires are blowing up on spottingplutes.com, but I don't even have a single entry. So if you see me in public, don't say hi, just report a sighting of me. And remember, I might be classist, but at least they're all APs.